Hey guys, Joe from BackcountryArizona.com here, and today we're going to do something a little different. Um, Mike here, who you've heard on the podcast several times, came across this pack on Amazon.com, so we're going to go over it and just see if it's too good to be true. All right, Mike, so why don't we talk about this pack you found here? This You found this on Amazon. Yeah, so I was, you know, usually on Amazon when you start buying some things, they usually give you a suggested list of what to buy. And there was an ad on there for Amazon Basics Outdoor. Well, that's what I found was like the craziest thing about it. Is this, this pack is labeled Amazon. So Amazon has obviously... Yeah, right here is a, the little labeling right up here. It's actually embroidered in the same color. Yeah. You know, Amazon Basics 75 liter. So that was kind of interesting. It's a $56 pack from Amazon, uh, 65 liter version. And, and it was interesting because if you got this green color as opposed to the all black, it was like 15% less or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it was or, definitely. And if you got this the 70 liter plus, it was even cheaper yeah. in this color, which again, maybe that's an Amazon technique or whatnot. Yeah. Or they're still testing out the pricing. But well, so, let's, let's go over a few of the features here just sure. just to say, and then we'll get some close-up video of it as well. But So this is it's your basic internal frame pack. It's got a top lid pocket here. It's got these nice on both sides like nice water bottle pockets for a Nalgene or something. In fact, if you want to grab that guy there, we'll show you, you know, it fits, fits right down in here in the Nalgene pocket on both sides. But what I found most interesting, I've got the front pocket as well, a zippered pocket, not like your typical shovel pocket like right. you'd find on an Osprey or an Arg pack. But what I found interesting too was these side pockets as well, which are also just about Nalgene bottle size. Yeah. But, both you know, some, something you don't see on a lot of uh, you know other packs, usually that side pouch will either go all the way down or. Right. But that's interesting. It's symmetrical on both sides, yeah. by the way. So, yeah. and then on the inside here, it does. Like I said, it's got this sort of front pocket. So it looks like to me, with this pocket being a little smaller than normal, that maybe they're you know kind of divvying up the load between these three pockets as opposed yeah, to having. Yeah, this could be like a map pocket yeah. or something that's a little so. more flat. And then of course you got your typical down here. You got your typical sleeping bag pouch. And then two separate compartments. Two, yeah, right. With the divider in there, and then again, like I said, your top lid. But what's cool about this too is now at the very bottom down here, you have a zipper pouch. Maybe hold that up so the camera can see it. But it's got the built-in included rain fly as well. So this comes out. What I thought was pretty cool too had this little looping system here, so you can if on you a want, quick pull, you yeah, can get it all out without having to you know fiddle right. around with it. So that was interesting to see. No, it looks like a pretty decent quality rain fly as well. And they so. advertise that pretty heavily as one of the yeah, stock photos. The and what they did is they made sure when you're scrolling through, not only did you see the colors and somebody wearing it, yeah. but they showed the fly as a as a premium feature, which yeah. is interesting. And then you look at the harness here. Um, the pad's not the most padded thing I've ever seen. Hip belt <laughs> seems to offer a decent amount of padding. No hip bo uh, pockets. No, okay, that's a good, maybe a, a way that they saved a little money. Yeah, you know, not putting them on there, but then you know, fairly padded. Seems like open foam, uh, you know, open cell foam here with the hip belt. So mm -hmm. not the worst thing ever, but you know, certainly not the same quality as something you'd see like, again, like on an Osprey pack or a Gregory or something like that. But uh, they do have the adjustable. And it's adjustable. You can see here, you know, they've they put in these almost like mini Molly straps to make sure you can, yeah. you know, adjust that, which is nice. The hip belt hip belt is removable. Uh, which is interesting, and obviously you can see here that you have the um, compression straps all the way around. Yeah. So. so yeah, this would say compression straps, two on each side here, um, looks like these, you can obviously tie down the, the front lid. Front lid there. And they also have the, um, uh, the bungees for your poles here on the front, and then the bungee loop, or the loop for the, the pole connection, which yeah. is kind of great, one on each side as well. Uh, and you can see here, I mean, there's Molly's uh, daisy chain in the front, uh, some Molly's down here. Uh, so there was some thought, obviously, on the construction. Yeah. They don't have uh, the variable in the materials that you find in right. like an Osprey, where you can sure. see that the netting is completely different than sure. the mesh, which is different than what have you. But there's there's a lot of the similar like ripstop uh, and canvas that you'd find in a probably a lesser quality pack. But the general design seems to be pretty good. All right, so 
Mike, you got the pack on. We got a little bit of weight in there, probably about 15 pounds. Yeah. So not what you'd normally take, but just your initial impressions, just kind of with how the belt fits, how the sure. shoulder straps fit. So putting it on, you know, for me, I'm 6'1", 225, so the straps, you know, where they carry on the chest is kind of important. These are probably a little bit thinner than I'm used to, but they still rest in the right spots. Uh, the padding, as you can see here, is easily a half an inch or less thick. Um, you know, the ring right here, this is a, you know, a cheaper plastic, but obviously it's going to hold. The center strap has a little bit of that elastic built in, which is nice. I know sometimes when I take my glasses off for a second, I like to thread them in the loop there. Uh, no emergency whistle, which a lot of the current manufacturers do. Again, less complex, the better for Amazon, I would assume. Then down here on the hip belt, obviously it's a nice wide buckle, which is great. Uh, you know, it, it clips pretty easily, which is fantastic. Again, another interesting feature where they did decide to spend a little bit of time was on these securing straps, so that way they're not flopping around all over the place. For me, and, and this is just me, is the hip belt stop a little too short in my opinion. I wish they came out maybe another inch or two, but the padding feels good. The cinching down on this when you pull, it's not as smooth of an action as you think. Most other packs that I do own, the, the action is much more smooth, so you are kind of struggling a little bit, but it does feel like it's a good finish. Uh, we haven't really packed it up terribly well, but. I think that in wearing the pack, it is resting right in the small of my back, which is great. I feel like I'm probably right out of the box. We haven't done any adjustments. I probably raise it up maybe another slot or two from here. Uh, it, it feels pretty good so far, and I think anybody that would wear this pack right out of the, uh, of the boxing, I think you should probably load it up, throw a couple one-gallon water jugs in there, fill it up a little bit, and feel how that weight is distributed as you get up, sit down, or even walking up an incline or a decline would make a lot of difference in how you pack this. All right, so there you have it. There's the uh, Amazon Basics Internal Frame 75 liter pack. And we asked at the beginning of the video, you know, is, is it too good to be true? And honestly, based on the construction and the features of this pack, it seems like it actually is a, a fairly well-made quality product. Now, we haven't done any field testing on it, so we'll let you guys know um, once we get some miles on it and see how it holds up. But I would guess that this is a very good sort of entry level starter pack for those people who maybe aren't sure if they're going to be into backpacking or not. So like I said, as we field test this, we'll keep you guys up to date. But in the meantime, thank you for watching and we'll see you guys next time here on Backcountry AZ.